Welcome back as we continue our educational focus this morning. Now, the great Tata Madiba once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And boy, isn't this country proving that. And with False Bay, TVET College recently celebrating an incredible 18 years of changing lives, this quote could not be more apt. And joining us in studio today is the newly appointed principal of False Bay TVET College, Miss Karen Hendricks, who's here to tell us all about the institution and how you can sign up for 2021 enrollments. Welcome, Ms. Hendricks, and I suppose I should say congratulations. Thank you very, very much. That, uh, that 18 years, that's a whole life. That's, that's a whole, <laughs> there are young people now going, wow, that's the whole time I've been alive. Absolutely. Um, that's incredible. I know that you, you were acting principal and now it's been made official, so congratulations on, on that account as well. What makes this particular college stand out? Why are you so proud of your institution? You know, False Bay College is a public TVET uh, institution within the Department of Higher Education and Training. And, uh, you know, I think what we want to do is really bring education to the community and uh, a broaden access for young people. There are so many young people who are out of work. There are so many young people who do not have access to education. And we see skills development as a key focal area for our institution. And for the country. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that's what we need right now. And I'm, I'm glad that from the very highest level there is a focus on, on TVET now that we haven't seen before. Within that scope, what are you noticing in terms of trends? What are young people wanting to do and what are you trying to guide them to do? What, what are the most popular courses? Well, you know, there are a number of courses that young people can choose today. And I think our focus of our virtual open day, which is coming up next week on Future Ready, is really focusing young people's attention on the future, on skills that are uh, going to make them more employable and uh, you know skills skills development is absolutely critical it's no use young people investing time and money uh, only to find themselves unemployed at the end of their training yeah so unemployable because absolutely. of the market yeah. so we have a number of, 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 of interesting um, future focused careers uh, 2d animation we felt we're the only boat building uh, training facility in the country wow. we offer a range of ICT programs uh, hospitality tourism uh, engineering is also a very key focus because that's a scarce and critical skill in South Africa at the moment um, I love it. it must feel wonderful to feel like you're kind of weak into the DNA of the country now that you can be a part of that that growth path just focusing on your on your open day uh, maybe you can tell me a bit more about the the theme future ready I love that well we're having a, a virtual open day and I think COVID-19 has really uh, presented us with a, a with a new normal <laughs> so uh, we're very excited about our first ever virtual open day happening on the 4th of November between 12 and half past one and uh, we ask parents and learners to pre-register on our, our web, uh, on our on our website and it's really focused on three things it's focused on explaining more about our programs and our course offerings it'll also um, share with the uh, young people with the students uh, prospective applicants how to actually go about applying for 20, 2021 and then also how to apply for the NISFAS bursary and I think that's very very important and uh, so we encourage and we, we encourage young people to to pre-register for this Age, yeah. yeah. I, knowing I'm, my eyes are being open when you're listing some of the courses and things that are available. I'm thinking, wow, I didn't even know that at that age that those sorts of possibilities were, were there for me. How important is it that you expose young people, that you have open days like this, that you let young people know about the kind of jobs that are out there? I think it's very important because, you know, as I said before, young people are making an investment of time and money. Uh, we do not want young people to be um, studying and then back into unemployment. And I think the country needs this next generation of young people to contribute to the skills landscape in our country. How do people, 2021 admissions are now open. How can people sign up if they know what they want to do? They've got that razor-like focus that we've been talking about um, and they want to open up their, their future possibilities. How do they enroll? Well, I think they need to go into the website and they'll be guided through that. Um, I think it's very important for young people to ask the right questions and get the right information because, you know, career decision making is about having information uh, to oh, be able yourself, to, to yeah. make the, the correct decision. You know, at Falsbeck College, we speak about um, having the right student in the right course. Um, and I think it's very inspiring for students to know that when they're doing a program at False Bay College, it will lead to the possibility of finding employment or alternatively, it's a big focus in False Bay College, it's starting your own business. Mm. We're very proud of our focus on entrepreneurship training and development. 
That being said, um, if you very quickly, what do you think is the best, the biggest achievement in, in your time at the, at the college? What stands out for you? You know, Graham, there's so many, but I can, I can just share with you. There are certain things about which I'm very, very proud. I think Falsbeck College is a top performer. We have performed in the top 10 academically wow. achieving colleges in the country. We've been uh, receiving awards for our skills development. We are very focused on entrepreneurship development. And, and, and another thing about which I'm very proud is the fact that the college has been acknowledged for many years for achieving clean audits by the Auditor General of South Africa, and that's a reflection of sound financial management. Lastly, I'll focus on inclusive education, which is opening doors for many years to young people with disability and ex Brilliant. extremely sound student support services, taking students from the very beginning to the end of the academic journey. Uh, it sounds perfect. <laughs> it sounds like you've managed to find the perfect balance and I absolutely love that and we need that kind of inspiration after the year that we've had. So hopefully this will help young people see a positive way forward in 2021. But I think a good starting point, um, go and check out the Future Ready Open Day. It's virtual so you can do it safely and who knows, you might discover your dream job. It's there waiting for you and you want to make sure that you are empowered to go and embrace this. Ms. Hendricks, thank you so much. Thank you, Graham.